Hi there guys, thanks for clicking. This is my review of the Sony BDV E280 5.1 Blu-ray 3D Home Surround Sound System. Okay, so this is the Sony Blu-ray 5.1 Home Cinema System. I got this yesterday. Um, originally I wanted an uh, AV receiver because I wanted to put my Skybox in there, I wanted to put my um, Apple TV and I also wanted to put the PlayStation in. Uh, this, however, does exactly the same job and it comes with a Blu-ray player built in, which is great. So I have my Apple TV plugged in via the HDMI, same as the uh, PlayStation 3. These both carry the, the Dolby surround sound, which is great, especially for playing games on the PS3. And then I've got the Skybox plugged in uh, via the optical, which is good, so you don't have to have it on when you just want to flick the TV on and see what's on. So this is the box itself. Um, it's not too big. Uh, obviously, you've got all the uh, the usual uh, labels on here. It is uh, the latest DTS HD and Dolby HD, which is great. It's got those codecs in there. The speakers are uh, relatively smart for such a cheap system. You can see the size uh, here in comparison to the iPod Classic. Same with the uh, centre speaker. That's you know pretty pretty neat. Fits on top of the Skybox. Quite small there. Obviously, you get four of the surround speakers one centre speaker and then you get the sub which is here which is quite nice it gives off uh, quite a bit of bass I've had to turn this uh, down quite a bit so I don't upset the neighbours too much the right control is pretty easy to use it's nicely labelled out uh, there's not too many buttons on there that you really need to, to fiddle with um, it's pretty self-explanatory it's quite small as well now for those of you who have the uh, PlayStation 3, you'll notice that the uh, on-screen display is um, pretty much the same. It's not as nice and you know it's a little bit chunkier, but if you're used to that then you'll have no problems with this at all. The setup for this was uh, extremely easy. There's no microphone included with this, so you have to set the speakers manually. Um, which is pretty easy to be honest. You just set the distance you are away from the speakers in your prime seat and uh, if that's too low for you, set the level. I did actually find that the surround speakers on the left and right rear, they were uh, quite low volume wise. Um, they are quite far away from me in my lane, um, but I did have to turn the volume of those up at least three decibels, especially for watching things like Spartacus. Um, there's quite a lot of surround sound on there um, and I found that I couldn't really hear it, so I did have to turn those up quite a quite a bit but once I did that then that was fine. The bass, the bass is good, the bass is good. I have had to turn that down, down at least three decibels actually because although I like it quite bassy I don't think the neighbours would appreciate it but that was simple. The system itself was really easy to set up. The speakers um, had already come connected to the wires and they're all colour coded at the end that goes into the system so that was easy, you can't put them in the wrong ones. Um, the two HDMI connectors, brilliant, it just carries the sound and the video through and you've got one coming out into the television which is great. Um, it doesn't work if you haven't got the system on though, you can't just, it's not, it won't put the signal through. So you do have to have the system on for whatever you've got plugged into it. The Skybox, I've got that plugged in optically so I don't have to have the uh, system on if I just want to uh, watch the telly quickly, see what's on, set something to record. I don't have to put the box on, which is great. It does take a couple of seconds for the box to come on, about 10 seconds, which is fine. Um, the Blu-ray player itself is okay. It's not the best. I think the one on the PlayStation 3 is slightly smoother. There were occasions that it did seem to jut slightly, but nothing major. Um, certainly watchable. And obviously you've got a lot of online content on there, a lot of um, media streaming services, BBC iPlayer, Demand 5, Love Film, YouTube. The guy in the Sony shop said that the um, E380 
was uh, a lot better system, but when I um, compared them both, I found that there weren't really that many differences. With the 380, you get an app which you can control um, the services on there, so you don't have to use the remote. Um, but I don't think that works for everything. And it comes with a little microphone just for setting the uh, ideal uh, speaker system, uh, speaker points for your seat. So yeah, for 199, can't beat it really. You can't get uh, an AV receiver and a speaker package for 199, uh, especially not with the Blu-ray player included. So yeah, it's great. It goes really loud. Um, it's great for your music. Like I said, I wanted it mainly to stream music from the Apple uh, TV via AirPlay, which is great, works perfectly. I can stream stuff from my um, computer to that, and it's great. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please ask me through the YouTube channel and I'll put a reply back on there for you. And don't forget to like or comment away. Thanks.